that uh, Mahinda group is trying to collect all uh, sections of SLAP groups around uh, the leadership of Mahinda Rajapaksa. They have welcomed the uh, 16 MPs who have come to discuss with them and they have said you can join the uh, united opposition but under the leadership of uh, Mahinda Rajapaksa. That was spelled out by none other than GLP this professor uh, who is the intellectual head of uh, the fascist group. Uh, on the other hand, Gota Bay is collecting professionals. He has become a professional suddenly and then he is going around collecting professionals. In order to uh, uh, collect, collect them uh, for the same purpose. Then on the other side, <coughs> they, are, they want to uh, destroy the image of Ranil Vikramasi. They have uh, brought in the uh, campaign that UNP needs a new leadership if they want to uh, challenge the uh, power of Mahindra Rajapaksa. That idea has been put to the young uh, UNPS so that they will clamor for a new leadership uh, which can fight the so-called uh, giant Mahindra Rajapaksa. But actually, uh, they know that Ranil Vikram Singh has all the qualifications uh, to challenge and go forward. Their own terms always talk about the uh, patriotic uh, uh, idea that uh, uh, the uh, educated people who have gone through Lankan universities, Deradeni and other universities, they are the uh, people who could intellectually uh, give leadership to a political movement. Then on that basis, if you argue Ranil Vikram Singh is the only Prime Minister who came from a, a, a university, from a Sri Lankan university, a degree in Sri Lankan university. And assume the leadership. All other leaders uh, so far haven't got that particular uh, position. And which is uh, the idea they spread, the fascists uh, spread uh, Lankan University, Lankan universities, and the students from the Lankan universities must be given prior. Okay, here, what do you say about this? Ranil Vikram Singh is a Peradhanian student, graduate from Peradhanian. Then they came up for a leader who uh, has a, 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 a Buddhist background. Here is Ranil Vikram Singh. He, his family, uh, the foremost uh, protectors of Karaniya Union. Uh, uh, Vihare and the uh, uh, Upasak of uh, uh, Kalambu, uh, uh, Ganga Rama Vihare, and uh, all those titles are there. Above all, he is the most rational uh, uh, person according to the teachings of Buddha. Uh, is, he has uh, accepted Buddhist teaching that all humans are equal. And uh, uh, divisions on the basis of language, uh, caste, creed is absolutely ac uh, uh, unacceptable. He has taken this strong and 
uh, he has uh, 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 come forward to uh, see the national question on the basis of equality, autonomy of, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, entity of uh, Tamil and Muslim identities. So, therefore, uh, they have to fight back uh, uh, against this uh, uh, and discredit uh, Ryan Wilkinson because he is the strongest entity in the uh, uh, government side on the Yapana side at the moment. So they are attacking him and say that new leadership is necessary for the UNP and for the government. But that move is clearly seen that it's one aspect of the fascistic conspiracy to destroy uh, the uh, democratic movement and to uh, uh, take over the leadership in the country. All uh, uh, leftists, including uh, Janata Vimukti Paramun, uh, together we fight with uh, uh, UNP Shrine Vikram to defeat the fascistic uh, uh, manipulations and to uh, create a society where uh, caste, creed, religion is not an issue and in spite of that people are treated equality and autonomy and the right of self-determination of uh, people. And uh, this is the opportunity which we have and we must fight back. That is the message we give to the people at the moment.